I'm building the Philadelphia Eagles, but on the Dallas Cowboys. Before season one, I have to successfully trade for my choice of five Eagles, and from there, I have three more seasons to turn the Dallas Eagles into Super Bowl champs, or else I have to buy this almost one million coin CD Lamb card and discard it for a mass of 100 coins. That would almost be all my coins gone, dude. Now, the main question here is which Eagle do I trade for first? I mean, do I just go ahead and get our new QB1? So what would it actually take to trade for Jalen Hurts? Like, obviously, I'm going to use Dak Prescott in the trade. I'm going to submit it through, but I highly doubt it's going to be accepted straight up. At least there's potential there. Now, what I could also do is maybe trade Zach Martin away and get a couple of these guys in the same deal. Like, it would suck losing a 99, but, like, I think we could replace him eventually. Like, could Zach potentially get me both Jalen and AJ Brown? I mean, we're gonna try it. Submit it through. And it was declined. So, for now, let me just go back to the Dak for Jalen trade. They need a strong safety. We got one. It also says they need wide receiver. I would gladly trade away Brandon Cooks. Not interested in either of them, though. We'll submit it through. And at least it's in the green. So, from here, could, like, a future second round draft pick be enough to see the deal through? Not quite. How about a 2026 first round selection? Now we'll submit this one through and Jalen Hurts is officially the QB1 of the Dallas Cowboys. Already I have to say this is a wild scene. Now we still have four more Eagles we have to acquire. Without a shadow of a doubt I want AJ Brown. We also need a tight end badly so Dallas Goddard would be a great pickup. And at the same time I would absolutely love to add Jordan to the offensive line, which he could replace Tyron Smith, who's about to leave on an expiring contract. And what if we just went ahead and straight up swap C.D. Lamb? Actually, let's just try this for starters. Tyron Smith, C.D. Lamb for A.J. Brown and Jordan Mailata? Submit it through! It's in the orange! So what if I actually went crazy here and went ahead and traded away our best player, Zach Martin? Again, keep in mind, this is for the greater good, but what if we were also able to pick up Dallas God Gonna submit this one into the universe, and honestly, it's about the same. I mean, I would be willing to go ahead and throw in next year's first as well. I mean, I think it'd be worth it for AJ Brown, our future left tackle, and a new tight end to bring three more Eagles to the Dallas Cowboys. Declined again. Now, the question is, what the heck do I do from here? I have Dorrance Armstrong that I can add into the deal, but it, uh, it's not really gonna do much. So, what if we backtrack just a little bit and try to do Zach Martin for Mylata and Dallas Goddard straight up. And maybe for the heck of it, we even throw in Devontae Smith. Like, I have no idea what to expect here. So I'm also just gonna try and milk it. Maybe get a second. I mean, I have no idea. I'm just gonna try it. It actually looks pretty promising. So if we took the draft pick out of the deal, it's in the green. What if I throw in Trey Lance, our backup QB? Don't think it budged. Honestly, I really wouldn't mind getting rid of Tony Pollard. Now, is this enough to see the deal through? It's getting there. Now, from here, what if we swap Michael Gallup? Submit this one through. And the trade has officially been accepted. Jordan, Dallas, and Devontae are officially Cowboys. Now, here's the current state of the offense. The offensive line definitely looks a little bit worse. We're definitely going to have to get a better running back, but it's decent progress. And for the fifth eagle to acquire, before the rebuild officially begins, of course, I'm going to go with... AJ Brown. Now, with them being a 95 overall X Factor, it is gonna be difficult to bring this man in. Like, I wanna obviously swap CD Lamb forms. That's probably gonna be the only way we can acquire them. I just wanna see where this stands off the get-go. It's about halfway to being accepted. Now, the Eagles actually need a left tackle badly. So, what if we just offered Smith instead of CD? It's about the same. So, is this actually gonna take Tyron Smith and CD Lamb? I mean, I feel like I could get a decent little draft pick if we did offer this. Like, I wonder if we could get there first. Like, this would be a massive deal, but for the future, I think this would be worth it. Dang deal still declined. So what if we turn that first into something like a future third? Is this enough? Still declined. What about a fifth 
from this year instead. It's getting so close. Maybe Trey Lance will be enough to see the deal through. Declined again. So we have Dallas Goddard, which means we no longer need Jake Ferguson. Now that's more like it. But if we were able to take the fifth round pick out, come on. But from here, it should be as simple as like a late draft pick. Like what about a seventh? Is this enough? Boo! Screw it. I'll go ahead and throw in my other seventh round selection. And after all that, AJ Brown is officially a Dallas Cowboy. As a team, we definitely had to take a few steps backwards to achieve our goal. We have our Eagles, but we're not done yet. Lyle Collins is still sitting out there in free agency, and he would be perfect for that vacant right tackle spot. Heck, I think we could even sign Taylor Lewan and let him play guard for a year. We could go ahead also and sign KJ Hamler for some wide receiver depth. Already much better. Now, I do want to try and acquire an actual running back, but the question is, who do we actually try to pick up here? Odds we could get Pacheco from the Chiefs. Like, I feel like he would be the perfect fit. I'll throw in Trey Lance. I'll also throw in Rico Dowdle. Let's see how close this is. Understood. Now, what if here I offer Dorrance Armstrong and also offer Jordan Lewis? This get the deal any closer? About halfway, so maybe Pacheco is out of our range a bit. We have to be realistic for this first season. What about A-Chan? Like, I feel like this is unrealistic, but I'm gonna try it regardless, and that's fair. What about DeAndre Swift now that they have Tony Pollard? Let's try this one. Looks like we're not getting another eagle. What about Jameer Gibbs, bro? I would love this. Another unrealistic one. What about Tajay Spears from the Titans? Like, he's a solid young running back, and there's some potential there. What about James Cook here from the Buffalo Bills? Gah. Or do I just settle for somebody like Rashad White here? I guess we can submit this through? And definitely some potential there. Now, what if we threw in a future fourth round pick? Got a little bit closer. We're probably gonna have to make it like a future third. And if we're gonna do that, why not just go ahead and try to get Tajay from the Titans? Is this gonna be enough to bring in a beast rookie running back? Super close. Like, maybe a future fifth will be enough. We finally found our future starting running back of the Dallas Cowboys. Well, the Cowboys offense definitely looks a little bit different now. At least the defense didn't get touched. How hilarious would it be, though, if this team won the Super Bowl in season number one? Like, I've seen crazier things happen. Would save me a lot of trouble. So we did find our way in the playoffs, but hilarious that the Eagles won the division by three games. Cowboys fans probably hate me right about now. I told you guys, though, this is just the beginning. This team is gonna get crazier and crazier. Our offense actually sucked quite a bit, and so did our defense. I mean, that's a pretty solid season from Jalen Hurts. Like, can't complain. Okay, so it was the running game that let us down. Tajay only had 3.2 yards per carry? It was actually Devontae that led the team in receiving 14 touchdowns, 1,200 yards to AJ's 1,092 and 9 touchdowns. Don't know what this team would have done without Michael Parsons. Now, Dak did struggle a bit in Philadelphia with the 17 picks. They really didn't even run the ball that much better. And funny for them, Brandon Cooks led them in receiving with CD behind him with about the same exact numbers as AJ. At least Jalen got more votes for Dak Prescott in MVP. Now let's see if this team can go on a Super Bowl run here. We have to take on the Falcons in Atlanta, who had a pretty good season, but we do have the overall advantage, and we lost by three. Great freaking start. Same. Let me tell you, I'm about to bust out the best offseason physically freaking possible. At least we didn't get demolished in the first round by the Panthers. I'm telling you, this is gonna be your Dallas Eagles soon. I promise. One positive is that we had nobody retire this season. Another positive is that we had Devontae Smith improved a superstar, but unfortunately had Dallas Goddard regress. And don't think I see any changes on defense, which I guess is okay. Just a tiny bit worried here because we have 15 players we have to negotiate contracts with. Oh God, including Micah Parsons, who luckily all we have to do is accept his fifth year option. Same thing with Devontae Smith. Now, Stephon Gilmore here, he wants to stay in Dallas. I'd even be willing to give you a two-year decent little offer. Should be able to drop this down a bit too. And Stephon's going nowhere. Now, Lyell Collins, do I give you another contract? Like, I will go ahead and give him a one-year deal, but I'll bump the money down a little bit since he is interested in returning. Hopefully, he'll return on the cheap dub. Now, aside from that, I really don't care about any of these other guys leaving. Maybe we do need to try and re-sign Tyler because we don't have a center behind him. Or maybe I can get somebody better. You know what? I'll give him a decent 
offered, but that doesn't mean we won't sign somebody better, and then we can just use him as trade bait. I think I'm okay with the rest of these guys leaving. Hopefully, there's a decent free agent or two that we can poach and add to the squad. We have 28 million left to spend. Hold on a second. We actually have the opportunity to do something so hilarious here. Like, do I just bring Tony Pollard back? Oh my god, this might be the biggest finesse of all time. So we'll give him a fat five-year contract, which apparently wasn't his best offer. So why don't I just give you, like, exactly what you want? And we're tied with the Cardinals and Bears. Like, he's not even asking for that much money for how good he is. I think that's as far as I'm gonna go. Now, Grant Delpit could be an absolute monster for us at strong safety. So I'll just give him what he's asking for. We're tied with the Raiders, though. Redid the offer, and we're in the lead now. Now, from this point, could we actually afford to sign Tyron Smith? It definitely doesn't look like it. And good thing we re-signed Tyler, because the center market's not looking too good. Now, last player I'd be interested in is Patrick Queen here. I mean, I'll give you a fat offer, although it's tied with the Texans and Raiders. I think we're good for now. I'm just gonna submit this one through. He chose the freaking Raiders. At least we got Pollard back and also got Grant Delpit. But aside from that, there's really nobody I'm too interested in. So time to move on to the NFL draft, which I've got to make sure I ace this one way or another. Now we don't pick here until 19. Now what kind of offers are we getting out there? Honestly, nothing that really entices me that much. A couple of seconds, like this is a decent offer from the Bucks. I don't think I'm gonna accept any of these. And honestly, there's not a single player here that I'm that interested in drafting. So maybe I can actually use this pick traded away and improve our offensive line. We also could use some better outside linebackers. So now we are getting some absolute insane offers here. Oh my god. God, dude, like, what do I even do? Like, teams want this draft pick badly. Now, would the Lions be willing to give me Frank Ragno? I mean, I'd also go ahead and give you our center in return. Would you also give me Jack Campbell? I mean, I kind of just want to try it. Like, I feel like it's not even be close, but, like, this would help our team out a ton. It's about halfway to being accepted. I mean, we have a free safety of our own, Malik Hooker. Want to see what he does to the deal? Puts it in the orange. I mean, I guess we now have Tajay Spears, who we could try away. So how about this? It's only in the yellow. So what if we just tried to get our new starting center? Is this enough? It's so close. Let's see if there's maybe a better potential package out there. I tried everything, but the deal is now officially official. We get Franklin Ragno from the Detroit Lions for our starting center, Donovan Wilson, our first and a fourth. Now this time around, I'm actually going to pick with my second rounder. There's actually a ton of good tight ends in this class. My next actually target this guy next round but hilarious enough speaking of a center we're gonna actually get our long-term guy here Aiden Ogburn who looks like an absolute freaking mauler we're gonna take him and uh, crazy enough he doesn't have hidden development now hopefully that tight end's still available next round gosh dang it they all got taken we need a left outside linebacker and I think Danny's probably the best bet on the board and he looks kind of meh we also need a number three receiver and this is the top guy on the board here in the fourth round. He's fell a ton. He didn't even participate in the combine. Like, what's that mean? He actually looks kind of trash, but you know what? I'm just gonna take him for the heck of it. If he's over, like, a 70 overall, I'll take it all day. I mean, at least the center was good, but that was a pretty horrible draft class. Oh my god, that tight end was so good. Still think this team, though, has an incredible chance here to compete in season two. I also think we even have a slightly better defense. I've been trying to find the best move to improve the team and have been struggling mightily so the only thing I could do was add a wide receiver three Traylon Burks from the Titans hilarious enough I had to send Tajay Spears back to him but I just really freaking hope this team can go on a Super Bowl run this year I mean can we at least take the division back from the Eagles oh my god dude what the heck we actually just went 16 and 1 some of you little demons out there like to think I cheat but you can 
see, man. We won 16 games, only lost one. And as you saw, the only game we lost to was the Falcons. This team is the bane of our freaking existence. But I will gladly take a first round buy, especially when a 1 million coin card is on the line. This time, we had a top five offense. And defensively, we are about middle of the pack, which is much better. That is a stupid season here from Jalen Hurts. 39 touchdowns to only two interceptions. Even with Tony Pollard, our running game still sucks. So like poor Tajay Spears. Now that's the AJ Brown I traded for. 1,400 yards to 12 touchdowns. And what a massive pickup Traylon Burks ended up being. And also can't forget Dallas Goddard's been solid for us. Like where does this come from? 30 sacks on the year. I've got to see if this man got an MVP vote. He did, dude. That's the first time I think I've ever seen a defensive player get a freaking MVP vote. Micah Parsons actually got more votes than Dak Prescott. Hold on a second. Did the Eagles miss out in the playoffs? They barely made it. How funny would it be if the Eagles are the one to end up knocking us out? I mean, of course we led the league in sacks, but hilarious enough with his 30 sacks on the year, Micah Parsons got more sacks on his own than like 10, 15, 20 NFL teams. I mean, this only beat the all-time NFL record by eight total sacks. I think as a 90 overall team that went 16-1, we're ready for a legitimate Super Bowl run. And hilarious enough, the Eagles play the Panthers again in the first round. If the Eagles Eagles beat the Panthers here. I think we'll actually have to play them in the divisional round. How hilarious would that be? <laughs> oh my god. So this time they beat them by seven. I'm telling you this matchup is about to completely break my freaking brain. Like too bad this wasn't the conference championship matchup. Oh this scene right here man. Like I don't even know what to think. So many Cowboys and Eagles fans are triggered right now. Now is it going to be the Eagles and Dak Prescott or the Cowboys and Jalen? Hurts to advance into the conference championship and the Eagles take the 7-0 lead although we answer right back oh gosh this is gonna be one of those games it's 21 to 7 now seven point game we got the ball back tying things up here Eagles regain the lead oh no oh no come on tie game we got the ball back come on come on overtime oh god what's going on we win did we win I'm so confused did we win that he's clapping does that mean good things? Nicholas is mad. I think we won. Let's go. Rose, I was so scared. What a freaking historic performance here from Jalen. You know, not to mention AJ Brown's 200 plus yard game. And this has got to hurt Philly's feelings, dude. Both AJ and Devontae had two receiving touchdowns against them. But unfortunately, that was only step number one as we still have the conference championship game upcoming. We have to take on last year's Super Bowl champions. I mean, we went 16-1. Like, we should be winning this. I hope to God Madden thinks the same. 49ers don't score drive number one. We take a 7-0 lead. Come on, please let this not be stressful. Let's take a 14-0 lead. And of course, they bring it by one touchdown in the halftime. 21-7, though. Gosh, dude, this is so much going on. 28 to 14. Oh my gosh, dude. It's always so stressful down to the death, but we come out on top once again. So much was going on. I forgot how to speak the English language for a second. But now things get ultra serious as we're either going to have to take on the Chiefs or the Texans in the Super Bowl to save this 1 million coin card. I mean, I'm honest to God, hoping the Texans somehow beat Pat Mahomes. And we do get an all Texan Super Bowl. It was only a three-point victory, and CJ Stroud had the game of his life. And not to mention Damian Pierce averaging 9.4 yards per carry. I mean, on paper, we should be winning this, but it's the Super Bowl. You never know what's gonna happen. Literally, one more win here is all we need. And in just two seasons, we officially win the Super Bowl with the Dallas Eagles. Come on, fast start defense keeps them from scoring here in the first quarter. And we finally do take a 7-0 lead and they answer just like that. We, we score quick. So much is going on here. 14-7 in the second half. Two possession game. Come on, keep it going. 28-7. They're not going out without a fight. Come on, in the game. And your Dallas Eagles have officially, just in season number two, won the Super Bowl. My mutt bank account is saved for another day. And as happy as this right here makes me, really don't know if this triggers or makes the Cowboys and Eagles fans happy. Now, hopefully you enjoyed enough to subscribe to the channel. And if you did, you can click right here to watch another video that I promise you enjoyed just as much as this one.